Hola, ¿qué tal? Sí, estamos de camino a casa. Tuvimos un gran día en el centro y lo pasamos bien. Debes venir después de la cena. Será bien verde. Mamá? Hola, mamá. Hello? Who is this? Perdón. Don't call this number again. Hey kid, your mom or dad with you? Hablas español? Eres de Colombia también? Te gusta mi música? Bueno, eres mi único fan. Sabes, poca gente conoce esta canción. Odio esta ciudad. Nadie le ayuda a nadie. Aquí, tienes chico. Vete a comprar algo de abrigo. Hace frío hoy.
Hola, chico. Hola. Habló. ¿Qué haces aquí fuera? ¿Dónde está tu madre? Nos separamos en el metro. Lo siento. Todo saldrá bien. Puedes pasar el rato conmigo hasta que vuelva tu mamá. Gracias. Wow, chico, ¿puede contratarte? Hace tiempo que no he ganado tanto dinero. Ay, ay, chico, eres loco. Oye, mijo, somos un equipo. Oye, ella vendrá, no te preocupes. Mateo, Mateo, mamá. meals for next week. The next week? Yeah. Why? Well, take it from me, you're, you're gonna be too busy, you're not gonna have time to cook. I've got uh, mac and cheese, the real kind, I've got chicken alfredo, beef stew and vegetables, and um, uh, a few other things. That's... thank you. things that I have to decide whether I'm gonna donate or not and then I'll be good to go. It won't take long. Well, you better hurry up or you're gonna be stuck in traffic. What are you doing? Well, this is my university box and this is what I want to donate. And I decided I don't want to keep the hat, so. Mom, Mom, what are you doing? Well, I know you're gonna be eating noodles out of your mug. Plus, the hat, 60% of your body heat's lost through your head. I'm already bringing like 15 bowls. I don't think I need another mug, and I'll just buy a new hat. Okay, whatever, whatever, it's good. You look so sweet. You've seen me wear this a million times. I know, but now that you're actually leaving, it, it makes it all more real, don't you think? Is there a reason why you're going through my stuff? Is this really all you're taking? There's more holes in this than fabric. I think I'm at an age where you don't get to decide what I wear. Of course I don't get to decide what you wear, but I'm allowed to worry about you, aren't I? You're not gonna take this? No, I'm not. I've already gone through my clothes. I don't need you to do it for me.
Mom, you didn't have to make my... I thought I closed that box up. You're throwing away Pooh Bear? I'm not throwing him away. Throwing things away is wasteful. I'm just giving him away. He was the only thing that could calm you down when you were little. Now I take anxiety medication. Just because you don't need something doesn't mean you abandon it. I can't take a toy with me. Well, leave him here. Well, I don't want old stuff hanging around. What's wrong with old stuff? Lucy, really? Grandma brought this for you from Italy. It must have cost a fortune. It was a nice gift at the time. I just... Why are you doing this? What? Like, it's like you're trying to make me feel guilty, and I just... I don't know why. I'm not trying to make you feel anything, but if you do feel guilty, you might want to ask yourself why. I'm not guilty, actually. I'm just... I'm upset. You're upset? I'm watching my daughter give away all her belongings like nothing matters. Why does it matter so much to you? Why does it matter so little to you? You know what? It does matter to me. It matters to me that I let go of all this stuff. I need to go. There's gonna be traffic and stuff. Oh, uh, have you forgotten anything? Not that I know of. I should really go. You almost forgot this. All your food. Thanks. Yo, I finally watched that movie you were telling me about, huh? Oh yeah, what'd you think? I mean, I knew you don't like that kind of thing, but this time, way different. I knew you'd like it. Woo! Hi, what's up, bro? What's up? That's all you're gonna say? I was at my house for an hour waiting for you to pick me up. Well, I thought I'd let you sleep in. What? It's not a big deal. You should get me a coffee. Uh, <laughs> this one's, uh, for coach. Oh. Um, alright. You still got me for a ride? Yeah, I drive him all the time. You going? Yeah, I'll just give me a sec. Hey, I got the cart.
Oh, by the way, last night, watched that movie again. Really wasn't the same second time around. Who cares what you think? You thought the new Star Wars movie was good. Yeah, this new Star Wars was unreal. Late Saber battles were so cool. You have no idea what you're talking about. You like movies for 10 year olds. At least my movie was entertaining. It was way more entertaining than yours. Read Roger Ebert's article on both films, then come back and talk to me. You're such a nerd! Who the hell is Roger Ebert? Read a book for once. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one takes money. Yeah, yeah, see you up there. Another day. Do you think I could fake sick? Mom wouldn't figure it out if I just made my face super red so it looks like I have a fever. Whatever. May as well just get up. Are you ready for school, honey? Crap. Things from last week are up. Ugh, I lost two points. Whatever, I'm still in the same level. Didn't get dropped to the lower class. Look at them. The tops. They think they're so great. Sam hasn't spoken to me since we got separated. Crazy. We used to be such good friends. Alright students, I know you all just got your weekly rankings and the results may have been disappointing. Now is the time to really buckle down on work. Mediocre isn't good enough. You're never going to be successful and you're never going to make it to the higher level classes if you don't spend every moment working. You, what is this? What are you, some kind of artist? Yeah, nice try. Don't quit your day job. Hey. Hey, you. Come in here. What is this? Don't worry about it. What, what kind of club is this? I thought the tech room went on Thursday. This is no tech room. Think of us as your way out. Uh, I need to get out of here. Not a chance I'm getting caught with you. Listen, 
I get it, okay? But you got talent, kid. We could really use it. What do you mean? We're planning something big. You know those uh, screens that show our rankings, you know, in the cafeteria? <laughs> they glare down at us, they taunt us all the time. We're gonna hack them. Hack them. Okay, so we're gonna get this big symbol, right? We're gonna mm -hmm. put it on the screens and just scare the crap out of those teachers. Um, okay, but why me? I saw your sketches in class. They're amazing. We need you to draw a logo or whatever you want to call it. We'll take care of the hacking, you take care of that. Can't you just find something online? That's not the point. I have a question for you. How many drawings do you think you've ever made in your life? Um, probably hundreds if you count all the ones, all the crumpled papers on my desk. And how many of those drawings have people actually seen? Uh, none. Well, today was the first time anybody saw any of them. Why? Because they're dumb and bad and, you know, whatever. No! What do you mean, no? They're amazing, kid. And you tell yourself that they're bad because the school does everything you can, they can to convince you that you're meaningless. And it works because all anyone cares about is those stupid rankings. Why do you let some algorithm tell you how smart you are, how good you are? Listen, we're giving you the chance to do something special here. And I know that it's risky, but you have to trust me. Okay. Uh, I trust you. I'll do it. What's going on? What is this thing? Who got rid of these rankings? The artist. You did this. All right, students. I know you always got your weekly rankings, and it's always been disappointing. But now it's time to really buckle down. Stop! It, it was me. He had no idea. You are in trouble. Come with me right now.
it, sir. Add to your pockets. These pockets? These are pockets. It's just air pockets. Yeah. The heat, you know? Stop. You think I'm stupid? You think I don't know? Yes, sir. Add to your pockets and leave. Hey, 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 I'm back here. Adonis, my brother, what'd you get? Some bread and some here. Whoa, this is truly a blessing, my friend. Did everything go all right? That uh, vermin of a cashier tried to stop me. Like, I don't need this more than him. Damn privileged elites always screwing us over. Who makes them better than us? We should be happy for what we have. We can't dwell on what we can't change. Can't change? You're just gonna sit there and act like there's nothing we can do about it? Adonis, there is nothing we can do about it. Yo, what are you doing here? Get out! <laughs> Damn employed noble snobs. What makes them so important? Zooming past so they don't see us? Like we don't exist? Work hard and your dreams will come true, they say. Everything I've ever worked for was taken from me. By them? How dare they trample on us with their high horse? What makes them different? Okay, so these are the new AirPods I got for Christmas, and I'm so excited to use them because everyone has them, and I've wanted them for so long. To check unheard messages, press 1-1. One, one. Ma First unheard message. Hi, Jamie. We just got off the highway and we're almost at Allison's. Please don't forget to feed and walk Charlie and there's some food in the fridge. Be safe. We love you. So the next gift I got is a dog toy that looks exactly like Shirley. Ugh.
So this is a dog toy I got and it looks exactly like Charlie. I think it's super cute and he really likes it too. Charlie, stop. So this dog toy is like, it's really good because it's like strong and then he can't really break it and it's also like adorable. There is one last gift, but it's in my room, so I'm gonna take you guys there. So over the winter break, I just kind of stayed here, which, you know, that's sometimes pretty boring, but I actually had a lot of fun. I like relaxing, just hanging out in my room. Well, what about you guys? I'd like to hear from you. Um, leave a comment of what you did this winter, and I'll be replying to as many as I have time for. Okay, so. These are the pillows that my mom got me for Christmas and I really like the colors and I think they add to the aesthetic of my room. Congratulations, you are invited to a weekend getaway in Stowe, Vermont.
Hi, Mom. Yeah, I'm just driving in now. Having time to myself is exactly what I needed. Hi, Dad. I just got here. I still can't believe I get to stay here for a whole weekend. Mom, honestly, I'm starting to get a bit scared. Hi Dad, it's 9 o'clock. Yeah, it's really nice here, but some weird things have been happening that have kind of freaked me out. Yeah, like today when I was sitting in the living room, I saw a bunch of cards, but I hadn't even taken them out. I sent you a picture, I don't know if you saw it. Yeah, I'm honestly getting really nervous. Really weird things keep happening. So I was washing my hands and then I was hungry so I went to the fridge to get an apple for a snack. And when I came back and started cutting the apple, randomly toast came out of the toaster. And I do not remember putting any toast in the toaster. I know, I know dad, I know I'm just forgetful. It could have been that, it's just, it's really weird. Okay, I'll let you know if anything else happens. Hi. Yeah, I found the house pretty late. I had a pretty good sleep. At one point, I woke up from a buzzing noise outside. Must have been people working on the mountain. Um, still tired, but no matter what, it's nice to be alone and just be relaxed for a few days, you know? Time to go home. Thank you for coming.
coming to the weekend getaway in Stowe, Vermont. We hope you all enjoyed your stay. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight is Saturday night, which means it's hockey night in Canada. We come to you with the fiercest rivalry across the Great White North, the Toronto Maple Leafs suiting up against the Montreal Canadiens. Dating back to 1917, the oldest rivalry in the hockey has always lived up to expectations. While the on-ice competition is fierce, the Leafs-Habs rivalry is symbolic of the rivalry between Canada's two... Man, games are starting, eh? Let's, Let's go, go, man. Come on. Yeah, so, what are we thinking? 3-1? 4-1 Leafs, maybe? Nah, I'm not giving the Habs anything. 4 nothing Leafs. I don't know, man. Habs are coming off a hot streak lately. What? what? I don't know. <laughs> what you're saying. Yo, watch the game, eh? Yeah, just one sec. Sorry guys, I gotta take this. Hey, um, we should have some pizza, eh? Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, from where, though? Well, I mean, Francesco's is right around the corner. Okay, yeah, but like, aren't you gonna miss the game? It's gonna be four zip by that time. Isn't that right, Mitch? Yeah, all right, see ya. See you, point. Got your flower. Thanks. Okay, come on. Yo, you see that girl that moved in down the street? She's kind of cute. Yeah, she's pretty cute. Think she's a Leafs fan? No doubt. Yeah. Come on, Weber, hit that guy. Yeah, you're right. Weber needs to wake up. I'm gonna go to the washroom. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, don't worry. Okay. And then she just like got up and left. What? In the middle of the date? Yeah. Yo, you're such a loser, man. Yo, thank God I'm starving. What, did I really take that long? Yeah, man, it took forever. Yo, what type of pizza is it? Pineapple, obviously. Good. <laughs> Alright. Now he puts it back to the... Oh no! It's intercepted by Marner. There's only the goalie to beat. Yeah. And he scores! Yes! Oh, let's go! 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 let Damn it. Cass, how are you feeling? Hello? Annika? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry about it. Just one of those things that comes and goes, you know? Okay, whatever you say. No, it's been like 10 minutes. Yeah, you should, you should call. Okay. Cass! Cass! No, that's weird. Yeah. You wanna order a pizza? Weren't you just sick? Yeah, but you haven't eaten yet. No, don't worry about me, I'm fine. You're just gonna be weird right now. You should eat, I'm gonna order one online. Okay. Hey Annika? Yeah? I'm sorry for 
for blowing this. No, don't be. You're sick. I'm sure you've had a lot going on today. What the heck is going on? I don't know. Well, I see. That's the thing. I'm not actually. It's on me. No, don't worry. I got it. Come on, I got it. No, no, no. I got it. Janssen chips it to Marner. He glides it into the slot. Rifles it across the crease to Matthews. Go! 4-2 lead. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
Kelly, you're on. husband's gone missing, Sheriff. He ain't returned home in six days. Now, I know that don't seem like too big a deal, but you need to understand that ain't my husband. Not him. It's like he... Have you been practicing? Like, on your own at home in your room or maybe in front of the mirror? Yes. You don't need to lie to me, Jess. Mike, I'm not lying. Tell me how you practice. Well, um... Sometimes I'll record myself, or I'll run lines with my mom and my sister. Just take a breather, okay? What's up, man? Hey, man. You still good for tomorrow? Uh, yeah. Are we heading back to your place, or...? Yeah, that sounds fine with me. All right, can you turn on the wash? All right, gotcha. All right, thanks. Jess, from the top. Uh, well now, hold on, miss. Where's your husband? And don't you lie to me. My husband's gone missing, Sheriff. He ain't returned home in six days. Now, I know that don't seem like too big a deal, but... You need to understand that that ain't my husband, not him. It's like he's someone else, someone different, just not the man I married. Jessica, how many times have we gone through this? Jess? Um, More than enough! Let's chat backstage. Can you just show me that I made the right choice here? Show me! <sighs> well now, hold on, miss. Where's your husband? And don't you lie to me. Don't you lie to me. My husband's gone missing, Sheriff. He ain't returned home in six days. Now I know that don't seem like too big a deal, but you need to understand that ain't my husband, not him. It's like he's someone else, someone different. Again. Hey, what was all that about? I don't know, she's just being stubborn, okay? Look, she's trying her best, man. Yeah, but trying your best isn't always enough. You know, but it, it's a difficult role. Like, it's not that easy to grasp, and, you know, she gets... She gets scared under pressure. I get it, but, like, there's a lot riding on this. Like, it's my name on this at the end of the day, and I can't let her just throw that away. All right, but you gotta... You gotta care for her a little bit, all right? I do care, and sometimes... It seems like I'm the only one around here who does. Look, I care as well. I've been here every day for two weeks, man. That's not what I mean. Don't say it like that. Okay, I gotta take it off. All right. What did I do? Just... Just remind me when we're performing again. Mike, I'm trying my best Just here. remind me, please. Tomorrow. Tomorrow! Exactly. So we've been wasting our time here, right? You're the only one here, and there's a reason for that. Nobody else needs to be improved. Mike! Ryan, get down here! Tell me what you think. Jess, go! My husband's gone missing, Sheriff. He ain't returned home in six days. Now, I know that don't seem like too big a deal, but you need to understand that that ain't my husband. Not him. Stop! Stop! See, this is what I was talking about. You get what I mean now, right? No, I don't. That looked perfectly fine to me. 
Never mind. Just stick to behind the scenes. What's that supposed to mean? I need a break. I'm taking a walk. Where's Jess? She's gone. Gone? Where'd she go? She went home. Why? Look, she was tired of all this crap, man. What crap? She was tired of you bossing her around. We've been rehearsing for five hours today, and not once have you shown an ounce of sympathy for her. Sympathy? I care! Really? Because you don't seem to care about me all that often. We're supposed to be best friends, huh? Then why haven't you respected my position or even thought to think what I think about this show? Maybe if you made yourself a little more useful, I would have cared a little more about you. Useful? You call yourself a director, but this play hasn't gone anywhere in two months. We're going to show this thing tomorrow, and it's going to be a piece of crap with your name on it. Thirty minutes. Hey, man, I just wanted Look, to. Look, you already told me thirty minutes. All right. Just listen for a sec, okay? You remember what happened last year, right? Look, I just wanted to push you. I know I've been tough on you and Jess about not being perfect, but remember at the academy? Nothing was ever good enough. But it made us want to be better. That's all I want. Now look at us. This right here? It's ours. Yeah, hey, Mike, you're wanted in the lobby. Is everything okay? Are we? Yeah, we're good. Right. My husband's gone missing, Sheriff. He ain't returned home in six days. Now I know that don't seem like too big a deal, but you need to understand that ain't my husband. Not him. It's like he's someone else. Someone different. Just not the man I married. 